Hi everyone, I wanted to tell you today about my experience being part of a being part of a trial essentially, uh, like a, a scientific trial that I've got involved with. I got a, I got a letter through the door asking me to be part of it from my doctor essentially. So it's it's a trial that's measuring. It's it's something to do with diabetes, and it's something to do with um, measuring like the uptake of sugar into the the blood after exercise, or something something along those lines. I'm not exactly sure, but one of the things that kind of interested me about it is that they're doing quite a lot of different measurements on you and different things. But I went along today, and I was. Uh, being part of it today, and it was kind of more than I expected to be honest, there was a little bit more uh, going on. So the first time, my first m meeting, I went along and met the doctor, and I think, I can't even remember what happened the first time round. Uh, it was probably like an interview or a survey or something, and maybe I had some blood taken, it was just a few things like that, blood pressure, maybe things like that. But today I went in and it was, um, they took quite a lot of blood at different intervals. Firstly, I had to relax for, for quite a while, so I was, I was like lying down for 20 minutes. And then they took, and then they put this kind of thing in, uh, one of those things in your arm for taking blood. And then they would come in every 15 minutes and then they came in every half an hour after that at intervals to like take blood again and at the end it was kind of quite hard to get the blood out but anyway and then I was taken away to a room and I didn't realise all this was happening like I was taken away and I had to like strip down to like shorts I wasn't really aware of this part of it and then I was getting all of my uh I was getting all these different parts of my body like measured and um, basically like the fat for for body fat measurements. I think it was just for body fat. So this uh, man is kind of like putting different lines and then taking the fat measurement and all these different lines. And there was um, it was it was kind of funny because like I was topless in this room and there was. Uh, there's a few younger women there that were like the medical students that are part of this thing. So it was a little bit like, it's kind of like, I didn't expect that. At the same time, like I don't really have a problem with um, taking my clothes off. Or whatever, but I just didn't, I didn't, I kind of wasn't prepared for it in the moment, you know. So anyway, and uh and so I get all these measurements taken and then I go into this like pod it looked like something that you'd be like ejected out of a spaceship in it was like it looked like that and it was like the door kind of folded over and then you sat in this thing and it was you meant to sit still and it, once again it was taking some measurements or body fat composition type measurements so that was all fine and then I think there was a break for lunch or whatever and then came back and what I had to do was go on an exercise bike. And I've not really been on a bike in a long time. And it was it was kind of a measurement of VO2 max. So I had a, like a mask over my face, which is makes it a bit kind of uncomfortable to breathe. And the first five minutes I was just to stand, sit still on the bike. And then the next five minutes it was like just no... There was no resistance on the bike, so you had to pedal at a certain cadence. And then after that, the cadence started to go up and up and up. So I, I, I'm kind of familiar with the term cadence, but I didn't quite understand. I didn't quite get. I think what the guy was saying was trying. He was saying that as it gets harder, as the the power, it gets harder and harder. You'll have to increase your cadence. So. So I was doing that, and, and as I was going along, it was getting harder and harder and harder, and I was and I was starting to breathe pretty heavy. And the guy 
who was sitting there was starting to act like a kind of a trainer, you know. So he was like, "Come on, Ronnie, we need your best. <laughs> we need your, we need your best today. We need to give you to give everything you've got." And I kind of wasn't quite, I wasn't quite expect expecting that that it would be like cycling to exhaustion sort of thing <laughs> it was pretty it was getting pretty tough and I, I definitely pushed myself a little bit beyond I, I don't think I don't think I pushed myself as far as I could have I think I probably could have pushed a little bit more um, but I was I was I was really I was kind of struggling by that point to keep to keep it going so uh, stopped and then I had to go back down to the no power for five minutes and um, I had a, as as I said the mask was on so I assumed that they were measuring and they had um, things stuck to me so I think they were measuring heart rate as well had a brief conversation with the doctor about the fact that I was vegan the diet it kind of came up because I was talking about the she asked me what I was doing at the moment I talked about the festival and stuff and I was saying to her, like, oh, I hope this doesn't mess with the thing, but she was, it was funny because all of their reaction was kind of more like, um, their perception, their perception was that a vegan diet was, was unhealthy, or their perceptions of a vegan diet was deficient, or there wasn't, so I got that kind of question of, well, don't you... I don't know, don't, aren't you missing things in your diet, aren't you, whatever else. And um, and one of my replies that I've come up with over the years is simply, you know, I, I, I'm not, if you think about what most other people eat, and I'm certainly not going to worry about eating the healthiest foods <laughs> in the world, you know. And compared to the people around me, uh, or people that have been around that are eating processed and junk food and living off that and seem to be able to live off that I've not got too much concerns about eating a vegan diet so um, I think they were they were kind of curious or interested in the vegan diet I don't know I don't have any ego about the idea that my results on this trial are going to be amazing or anything like that I'm not particularly fit I I didn't really have much sleep the night before actually and maybe I could have performed a lot better on that bike if I'd had a lot of sleep but it's kind of measuring basically they ask you to take a I forgot about this part of it they asked me to drink a sugary drink so it was like a lemonade basically it was water, sugar and some kind of lemon flavouring or lemon maybe added to it it was actually pretty delicious which obviously it is because it's sugar but sugar and lemon but um, so I think the idea is that you drink that and then they're going to measure the uptake of that into your bloodstream and how that's affected by exercise and stuff like that it's funny because I would have expected a lot of this stuff would be textbook common information that's been you know already been researched decades ago uh, so it's it's funny, but they're obviously looking at some some other angle to it. So I need to now, and this I, I didn't quite realise it was so much. Now I need to do a three day food journal. I need to wear this activity monitor monitor for seven days, and I need to fill in this monitor this um, food journal with weights and stuff of all the food that I'm eating. So. Uh, That'll be interesting. I've never really taken a food journal before, so this is probably going to be quite good for me. And I can, I suppose I can share it with you all, what this food journal, what this food journal is going to entail. So, uh, yeah, that'll be quite good actually, having seven days of my diet and I can be completely transparent with what I'm eating with you. Could actually maybe I could vlog it I don't know but that would help but anyway the experience has been interesting so far I'm going to go back in for a biopsy 
And I'm I'm kind of thinking that you know Don Bennett once said something I thought was pretty wise. He said, uh, "If you can avoid having needles putting into you, then you should. You know, you should avoid having needles put into as much as you can." And so I'm kind of exposing myself to needles and things that I don't need to by being part of this experiment. But um, it's part of my own curiosity, I suppose. I think, I think anything like this is going to be good for veganism, raw veganism, because if they have if if they have that in the trial and someone has a good result and they're a vegan, then that's going to be kind of a positive thing. It's going to anyone that comes across it or reads it is going to think maybe twice about veganism. So. That's uh, kind of my idea of doing these things. But a biopsy, I think, is maybe like removing a piece of muscle from my leg. And I don't know. <laughs> thinking here, you know, this, this might be... I think it's like a tiny little slice, but... Um, I don't know. Maybe it's a bit... Maybe this is all a bit too much. Like, But... Hey, you've got, you've got to kind of make a contribution towards science any way you can, I think. So... That is my experience. Do I recommend you to go and be part of these things? Perhaps, you know. Um, it, it, it's interesting. You might meet some interesting, you know, people, scientists, all that kind of stuff. And and you get some, you might get some free information about yourself that you probably couldn't get in terms of the quality of the information that you might be able to get back out of it about different things, about your health and everything else. So that's pretty cool. And uh, so let me know down below, uh, you know, put your comments down below what you think about all that. And if you've ever been part of anything like that, and feel free to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with what I'm doing. Um, it's now about 20, 26 days till the UK Fruit Festival. So I, I'm going to keep on promoting that. And if you don't know about that, it's, it's basically. For many people, it's one of the best. The people have said to me it's one of their favourite events ever for learning about the raw vegan diet, and especially here in the UK. So check it out if it's something you want to learn about. Fruitvest.co.uk. Okay, that's me signing out. Thanks a lot for uh, for subscribing and for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.